been here. He's a Pan-Africanist. We always appreciate him. A warm welcome for Trey, please. Congratulate him, he's a new dad as well. I've had an excellent year. I'm a father. My, my child's almost three months old. I'm blessed, God has blessed me. But if I'm so blessed, why am I here? Why am I not at home? Because you're out here. If I'm so blessed and you're so blessed, why are you not at home enjoying your families? When I think about impacted families, this is what I see. These are the faces that I see. Of the healthiest people, Africa and African and American, they are not children. We know what's right and what's wrong. And the same administration, 2011, you remember? When they put this new matter prison, what they wanted? They destroyed Egypt. They don't want African military power. That's the reason they destroyed Ethiopia. And no more! Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore, right? No more. I'm saying you, Africa and African American, stop self hating each other. Stop Ethiopia and you self hating each other. This is a Young man, Yeni Mukshe David. We'll have a few words. Welcome, brothers. Thank you. People, a nation, to denounce the unjust sanctions of the people of Andrea and to demand that they be rescinded. We also demand that the U.S. refrain from undermining Ethiopian sovereign rights nation, as a nation. In conclusion, for the people of Erdra and Ethiopia and the greater horn of Africa to live in peace and stability, it is high time that we stand together so that Eritrea, Ethiopia, and the whole horn of Africa can prevail. Thank you. I experience in, in the movement of people, but what I do have is the experience of being a part of a movement of people. And that's, a, that's enough. Yes, that's sir. enough experience. Yes, sir. I could put this in any one of your hands and you can say just as much as I could with enough time and thought. You might not even need that because it beats within, within you. That struggle, that's within you. I want our children to be born absent of this struggle. And the only way that's going to work is if we all come together and stand together and remain together. We are at a point in this time where things are going to change so rapidly, the next day you're going to look and you're not even going to recognize your neighbor's house, you're not going to recognize your surroundings, everything's going to change, and if we don't work together and create something together and sustain it together, then we are going to be the ones who are left on the outside as all of that change happens. And I don't want to see that. I want to see us move forward. I want to see all of the progression that exists outside of us exists within us. We are a unit, we are a family, and that's all we need to be, nothing else. I love you. Thank you, Brother Trey, really appreciate you, man. Thank you so much.